channel today's video is going to be a review slash swatch videos about this uh Bashua, um roach addition velvet liquid lipsticks uh the reason i'm doing the re uh swatches on this lipstick is because i bought one uh last year and i just loved it it's great so recently when i went to repurchase this one i think oh why not uh, choose some more and then do a review of all of them and share with you guys yeah so I selected some other shades of the range um, here they are uh, so they are not uh, the newest shades of this liquid lipstick I know there are some new colors released this year but they are just kind of too uh, fluorescent to me uh, which is not my type so the color I picked are uh, just uh, are released in I think in 2015. Uh, anyway, uh, Bushua is the, definitely a great um, drugstore brand in my opinion. I think it's uh, one of the best one because their products I've used uh, like uh, foundation and liquid lipstick and uh, 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 blush and primer. They are all good and. Uh, prices are quite reasonable if compared to um, some high-end brands yeah bourgeois is available in most of uh, European countries and some Asia countries as well I know it's available in China and I have seen it in Vietnam as well and uh, I heard it's not very really easy to get it in US but I also heard uh, you can buy from ASOS if you're in the US so uh, liquid lipsticks I bought from Boots in the UK and the price is $8.99 each uh, which is not super cheap but compared to the lipstick like MAC or some other high-end brand this is quite affordable and reasonable so I will start to swatch and review the from the lighter shades to the darker one so let's talk about my favorite one, which is this Nude Baby, uh, number 10, Don't Pink of It. This is the beautiful pink nude color, and which is I think is super convenient, super handy. No matter what, I get, what kind of makeup you are wearing today, you can just easily grab it, apply it on your lips, then you're done. It can match with so many different makeup and so many different skin tones it really becomes my go-to color recently super handy convenient beautiful it's just great perfect And then the next one is this uh, number six, Pink Pond. It's a beautiful hot pink with blue undertone, so it doesn't really flattering on a skin of warm tones. So for Asia people, if your skin is in a warm uh, skin tone, then be careful with this one because it can make you look uh, quite uh, yellowish or something anyway. But it's still a beautiful color. This one and this one is number five Olay Flamingo actually this is quite similar to Pink Pond um, if you just apply a very thin layer I would say they look quite similar just like pink but uh, this one Flamingo Olay Flamingo number five which is actually a mixture of pink and uh, red but the pink color is dominant so um, if you apply a thin layer it will look like pink but if you apply the full lips then you will see it's a mixture 
with red and pink together. It's a little bit like uh, the the between all fired up and uh, uh, flat out fabulous of Mac. So if you know these two shades, and then you know what I mean. So anyway, it's a great great color for summer. I think very vibrant and very cute. And this one is the shade which I'm wearing now. And this is number 14, Plum Plum Girl. It's a beautiful burgundy shade. Uh, it's a plum shade and great for, for, for autumn, winter weather, but also you can wear it anytime if you want. Like I'm wearing it today. I know it's summer, but I just still feel like to wearing it. It's great. I really like this one. A mixture of the burgundy and purple shade, but not too crazy. It's very wearable and um, yeah, I like this one. The last one is this number 8 Grand Crew. Uh, to be honest, I really like the color. This is a little bit like Russia Red of MAC. Um, very classic red color. But I don't know why. Uh, the texture of this one is really sucks. Um, it doesn't seems like it doesn't stay on your lips or skin. Then when I want to build up the color, the, the second layer just re will remove the first layer. So I cannot really apply it evenly on my lips um, but I did see some people online they share they, they they really love this color and it it works perfect on them so I don't know is it because I picked the wrong product or just because um, I'm unlucky or something I don't know but if you like this color be careful about the texture it might be a problem if you are in the UK, yeah, maybe. Okay, this is all my swatch and review today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.